Thanks for choosing to watch the video and this is part two of my big pike hunt on the river. Obviously all shot before the river closed but before we get going with the video this is how part one ended. But this big river pike story isn't over. I'm wanting to you know puff my chest out and be all manly and use big lures you know like 14 centimeters and up. What else should I be chucking? and uh, you really did come up trumps uh, and in the next video uh, you will see me using those lures and hopefully we will bag a big pike so let's not mess about let's have a look at those lures that you suggested and then get out on the bank very excited to see what we've got in here Probably some of the lures that you guys recommended let's have a look going to go through them in order. Straight away I can see we got the shad tees in a natural colour. Recognise these, these are the Xander Pro shads. The bigger ones will need some terminal tackle like that. The slider, yes, absolutely cracking. What's this one? Ricky! Ricky Roach, brilliant, yeah. Right, look at these for perch. Uh, like the look of that, that's a nice gunky shad. Again, yeah, got some cracking ones here. Look at that, you see that? Definitely. Uh, that is, sorry, a Kofi shad uh, by L LMAB. A lot of people were saying these. There it is, I think that one's Ghost Perch, it's called, that top one. So definitely, definitely looking forward to giving that a go. That's another one. I'm glad they've sent a few of the, uh, the, the Kofi Shads out. These are, are the ones. A lot of people have said, yeah, the Kofi Shads get on them. So interesting to put them on. These are interesting looking, like poppers, isn't they? Somebody else has mentioned these to me. Can't even remember what they're called, to be honest. Someone will tell me and another one of those as well. So that's all the lures, but there's one in particular that arrived in a different package that we're gonna take a look at now. Right, so I am very excited because a package has arrived and I know what it is. Right, let's get it open. And yes, it is, it's the mouse. Right, okay, so I am really looking forward to using these. I tell you what, as well, they are f***ing expensive and you guys told me to buy these. So if I don't catch a 20 pound pike on these on the mouse, uh, after spending that money, I'm gonna be f***ing fuming and it's gonna be your fault because you guys told me I had to, had to have the mouse. Right, let's get it out and have a look at it. Um, and there it is, look, <laughs> what a beast. Uh, I am really looking forward to using them. They do look uh, something quite incredible. Um, and yeah, I was specifically told to get it in ice cream, so I did. Uh, this one is the mini actually. God knows how big the bigger one is, but this one's 40 grams. I wanted to get the smaller one. I know I can chuck it with my rod and I cannot wait. I'm just hoping uh, that the mouse is the lure that's gonna catch me the pike off the river. Uh, that I'm really, really after. Back here. Uh, again, as always, a couple of hours. No more than that. Chuck the lures around. Got my new lures. And we'll see how we get on. Feels like to me, I want to go with this. Kofi Shad in Perch. A lot of people said go with the Kofi Shads. Also got it in uh, this colour as well, Ghost Perch. I think I'm going to start on there. Uh, came so highly recommended. And then just see where we get to from there. There's a fish in the edge here. 
He ain't big, but we want to catch him, of course we do. I think he's on to us though, to be fair. Right, gonna have a go with the slider. Let's have a go. Casts a lot further this one. You can cover an insane amount of water with this. Casts so far. Fish on. Smacked it. Oh, look at it out there. <laughs> Absolutely smacked it. That was such a good take. Do you see it right out there? Shows I must still be working it near the top. But the first on the slider. So you guys that said the slider, yep. There we go. There we go. I'm not going to get the big coma out because it's still only a jack. I mean, it's quite a minty jack. <laughs> to be fair, first one on the slider. <laughs> Absolutely nailed it though. Wow! <laughs> Slider again doing the business. Here's the fish for that. that slider seems a very good lure. Off you go mate. So yeah, that's me done. Uh, one hour, uh, two pike, both on the Salmo slider. Um, so yeah, fantastic. Pleased with that. Now I've got to be off. <laughs> wow, <Well, laughs> it's been a couple of weeks since I've been here because I've been filming Perch Masters and a few other bits and pieces. Uh, and it's a lot milder today. First warm day for a while. Uh, 12 degrees in the car on the way over here. So I thought, yeah, like a couple of hours right at the end of the day, out with the lure rod, me and the mouse are out. The mouse is gonna catch me a huge pike today, definitely. It's definitely gonna happen. Right, the first cast with the mouse. I'm expecting big things from this. <laughs> Let's see. Quite a weird thing to fish with. <clears throat> what you do, let it sink to the bottom? Or what? Near the top a bit.
Oh, I follow. <laughs> I really did follow it. <laughs> oh my God. Come on the mouse. <coughs> Hold it right in, that did. Feels like it'd be good in shallow water, or maybe I'm supposed to be putting a weight on the front of it. I don't know, really. So the swims where I've had most of my success on previous trips. I uh, had a couple of follows in the first swim on the mouse. I'm a bit worried that these other swims that I'm going to now might be a bit deep. But let's go and give it a go. here again and I've got to patiently let it sink which <coughs> takes quite a long time <laughs> because it's so bushy it does take a, a while to sink but I wonder if that's the beauty of it that slow drop wonder why why it's so successful as a lure. Everyone says that it's a brilliant lure. Almost like cheating, one bloke said to me. I wonder what it is. And am I fishing it right? <laughs> I don't know if I am. I wonder what makes it work. I uh, wonder if it's the puff of the, 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 the material. You know, it's almost fly-like. I wonder if it's the pulsating uh, fluff, if you like, as you bring it through the water. Absolutely hammered it. Whoa. Jesus Christ. Whoa. Absolutely hammered it. What's quite cool is because it's near the top. You get blinding takes. Absolutely hammered it. There we are, there's the mouse. I'm not going to mess around with it because it did the old uh, crocodile roll and it's got the lure in a real mess. So I'm not going to mess about with a big camera because I've not got a net to put him in <laughs> while I get the camera out. So that'll have to do. Get a nice chunky pike and a thirst on the mouse. <laughs> okay, I'm a little bit gutted that I didn't get good footage of that fish. To be honest, it, it did a weird crocodile roll in the net and got all the treble snared up. So I didn't have a net to rest it in while I got the proper camera gear ready. Uh, it was, you know, it couldn't have been far off a double. Uh, no, it was a good fish. Uh, and I tell you what, it was the first on the mouse. Look at the state of it. I tell you what, if all the takes using this are that explosive, I'm going to enjoy using this. Uh, and yeah, I haven't been here long. So uh, maybe you guys are right. Maybe this is almost like cheating. <laughs> Let's give it another couple of chucks, see if we can get another one before it gets dark. There we go. Yes. Hit the mouse. Good and proper. Mm. 
little baby on the mouse. There we go. There we are, another one on the mouse. Again, it's not the size we're after, so I'm gonna get it back. But the mouse, doing the business again. I mean, look, how beautiful does that look? Do you know what I mean? <laughs> does it matter if we catch a fish tonight? No. I mean, we already have, but you know what I mean. It, it really doesn't matter if you catch fish or not when it's looking like this. I mean, it's just stunning. Tell you what, these lures you guys have recommended are, they look amazing in the water. I can't be honest, all of them. Uh, they just look amazing in comparison to some of the other lures I was using. So hats off to you, fair play. And I am catching fish on them as well. Um, so yeah, you know, even if I don't manage to get this big pike, uh, that I'm after, I do feel like I've leveled up in one aspect of my fishing, you know, and you can't take that away from me. I might like this bit. Slammed it. There we go. There we go. Yes. So they like it through here. I thought they might. So I've just had this one. It's not big, but I just wanted to show you these. Look, a lot of the fish I'm getting are covered in leeches and lice. They're obviously not very active, held up a bit. But this one, ah, uh, the shed tees. So this seems to be doing really well. I think it's because there's a lot of roach in here. But I'm not going to get the big camera out. I'm going to sling him back, keep hunting for that monster. That was the first chuck through here, so let's try that again. There we go, it's another one. Oh, Jesus, Jesus Christ. Yeah, I found an area where they, the jacks off it. Oh my god, oh, he's going crazy. I've not got enough line off the, off the spool. It's nailed it. Looks like the same fish, but it isn't. <laughs> yeah, they like it through here. It's all snaggy. Oh, there we are. Absolutely disappeared down there. Look, there's a shad tease down there. That seems to be what they want, probably because of all the roach in here. Let's get that out. Oh yeah, that's what he wanted. Again, not a big fish, so we'll just get him straight back. See if we can keep hunting for that bigger one. 
but that's what he wanted. Natural colour shad tees. Not this crazy thing out. <laughs> I think it's LMAB this one. Let's see how it fishes. No, no follow yet. I'm running out of river season now for this big pike that I'm after. If I don't get it, it's not the end of the world. I've leveled up, which is great. Learned a lot of stuff to put into next year. And we're all learning all the time, aren't we? And this has been a great, great learning curve for me, this. And I have caught a few fish along the way. So, happy. You tell me if that isn't the most beautiful lure you've ever seen. It's a glide bait and it is absolutely stunning. Look at it. A work of art. Gutted if I lose this one. Wow. I can feel that working. It's going from side to side without me doing anything. And then when I see it in the edge, it looks absolutely magic. The action on this thing is insane. My God, it just looks like a fish. Come on. So it doesn't cast as nice as some of the lures. <laughs> Maybe on the right rod it would. This rod's slightly undergunned, but uh, it certainly makes up for that with its action in the water, which is just absolutely incredible. <laughs> Even on just a straight retrieve. God, I can feel it going from side to side. Absolutely incredible. Look at that action. It is absolutely insane, the action on this look. Never seen anything like it. Yep, clean trebles that time. What I'm doing, I'm now sort of like counting it down. I've sort of got a feel for when it's going to hit the bottom and I'm starting my retrieve just before it hits the bottom, otherwise it is picking up weed. Absolutely smacked it. That's it. Calms. It's only a little one, but it is the first one on that glide bait. And I'm not surprised because that glide bait just looks incredible in the water. In the net. There we go. I carried on working my way through the lures and I caught on nearly all of them, including the Kofi Shad. Oh. 
That was two hits then. That hit it twice then. It'll be one of these bigger ones. Is the Kofi Shad walloped it? There we go. <sighs> Here we are. The Kofi Shad decided to try it in a bright colour, and we've got another nice looking pike. Quite a nice long fish, but not the one we're after, but on a bright coloured Kofi Shad. I also had a few fish on the uh, uh, Fox Xander Pro Shads, which seemed to work particularly well in this sort of pearly white colour. He's coughed up a little fish. <laughs> Coughed up a little fish and took a Fox Pro Shad. Baby, let's get it back. To be honest, there were some lures that I just didn't get round to using. I kind of just run out of river season. Uh, sure, I could have then, once the season ended, gone on to the lakes. However, of course, we were starting to get towards when I'd expect the pike to be spawning and I thought it's probably best to leave them to it. Uh, but I will pick up some of these lures and get to use them another day. Of course, out of all the lures that I did try, I did have my favourites. Did really enjoy using the mouse, the Murus mouse. Always a bit worried if I'm pronouncing that right, but certainly really enjoyed using that and the slider, the slider cast like an absolute bullet, which I really, really liked, meant that I could cover a lot of water very, very quickly, particularly useful on a very wide stretch of river like this. I should say just quickly that all the lures that are used in this video, there are links to those down in the description of the video. I might not have caught my monster, but I certainly do feel like I leveled up with your help when it comes to lure fishing for the pike. It feels like with the lures and the tactics that I've picked up whilst doing this video, if I sort of execute those earlier in the winter on the river next year, we might just catch that monster. If you enjoyed the video, please remember to like and subscribe and all that stuff. Um, I don't know what I'll be doing next. I think I'll probably get the fly rod out. Might do a little bit of bream fishing while I'm waiting for the tench to wake up. But whatever I'm fishing for next, I will be sharing it with you. Until then, enjoy your fishing and be lucky.